Radiance here. After six years of React development, I finally nailed a button component. It has enough style variants to cover most situations and looks great in dark and light mode. You can also easily modify those variants, add new ones or build other UI components on top of it. You can find both the demo and the source code in the description. We use styled components so our button receives the same properties as its styled container plus a few optional ones. The first one is size. We have five size options starting from extra small and finishing with extra large. The second one is kind which defines button variant. We have nine sufficient options that we can easily modify. Then we have is disabled, is loading and is round properties that are self-explanatory. We make the on click property optionals since sometimes we render the button as a div element inside of a link, so we won't need the on click handler there. The default values for size and kind are M and primary respectively. When the is loading is true, we still render the content of the button to keep its width the same. But we make it transparent while positioning the spinner in the center of the button absolutely. When the button is either disabled or loading, we don't propagate the on click handler to the container. It's a good practice to show a tooltip explaining why the button is disabled when the user hovers over it. To achieve that, we allow the is disabled property to be a string and then render the button inside the tooltip component. To learn about its implementation, check out my other video about the tooltip here. The container component built on top of an style button which resets all default button styles. First, we add a default transition for a more pleasant hover effect. Then we center content inside using Flexbox, get position relative for the spinner to be positioned absolutely inside the button. When the is rounded is true, we make the button rounded, otherwise we keep border radius to 8 pixels. Based on is disabled or is loading flux, we set the cursor to either weight, initial or pointer. We also set opacity to 0.8 when the button is disabled. Each size has a custom set of styles and to make the code more readable we use the match function that serves as a replacement for the switch case statement. The only attributes that change based on the size are padding, height and font size. We apply the same approach for the kind property. The primary button has a blue background and white color for text. To accept the color from the theme we rely on a tiny helper get color. The secondary kind has the miss background which is the same as the page background but almost transparent. The contrast color would be absolute black in light theme and white in dark mode. The reverse button uses reverse colors to the rest of the UI and could often be a replacement for the primary button. The attention could be a nice option for a call to action like a sign button. The alert button is red and could be used for destructive actions. The outline button has a transparent background and a light border. The outlined alert button is similar to the alert button but doesn't have a background. The ghost and ghost secondary buttons are transparent and have background only on hover. When the button is interactive, meaning there is no loading or disabled state, we apply a custom hover effect for every variant of the button. 